Bike ride ends in tragedy after a cyclist was killed by a car in Franklin. Now the driver of that car is facing DUI charges. Our Dryden Quigley was at the scene all evening. She has the latest details on what we know so far. This morning, two bicyclists were riding here at the intersection of Liberty Pike and Mac Hatcher when they were hit by an impaired driver. Now you can still see flowers left here in Memorial and what we believe is part of the car that hit and killed the bicyclist. 23 year old Hidalgo Orozco Denelson from Washington is being charged with a DUI and vehicular homicide. Tonight he's being held on a $400,000 bond. Moab Bicycle Shop is just down the road from the deadly crash. As a longtime cyclist, the owner says the roads can be dangerous. A lot of close calls. Um, uh, we, we see close calls both from uh, uh, drivers not paying attention necessarily, cell phones, radio knobs, heating, things like that. Uh, and then the more populated the area's gotten, we've seen frustrated drivers purposely give us close calls. There are some steps you can take to stay safe, like having a flashing light or radar sensor. We have uh, tail lights for the bicycle that will give us an on screen uh, with our bike computer and tell us how many cars are coming, how close they are to us. But ultimately, it doesn't matter how safe the cyclists are being if drivers break the law. We're defenseless. You know, we're going with the flow of traffic. That, that's what our rule is. So it, use, most accidents happen coming from behind us, typically. Hearing about the death of another cyclist is hard for what he says is a tight knit biking community in Franklin. Complete sadness. I mean, I just I couldn't imagine going, to, especially at the time of the year with the holidays and everything. I mean, it's 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 just no words. Dryden Quigley, WSMV4.